Hello, and welcome back to The Josephine Project. This week, I wanted to do another writer's tip, but I wanted to think through something that I think is a challenge for writers, but also makes a great challenge to everyone as we look at things that um, people disagree on, things like the Syrian refugee crisis. So, um, this week's writing tip is on how to create more realistic, more complex characters, people more like the people that you meet every day or the people with whom you disagree. So, one of the most common things, the most common mistakes that I see amateur writers make, it's something that I struggle with, but I think even really good writers still struggle with a lot of the time, is the tendency to have kind of a binary of a binary moral spectrum. So characters are either good or evil, they are um, with us or against us, you know. There is no spectrum in your story. And so what tends to happen is you have your hero and your hero is on a journey and over the course of their journey they pick up friends or allies along the way and those friends and allies are in 100% agreement with your hero on all things at all times because everything your hero thinks or does is right and everything that the other side, the evil enemy villain people do is wrong and there is no, there's no in between, there's no differentiation, there's no internal conflict on the side of good or internal conflict on the side of evil and of course that's not the way real life is. The second mistake, the second amateur error, is that you introduce a new character, a new potential ally for your hero, but they come in on a very different trajectory than the hero, and so there's initially some sparks and conflict, and as that conflict is resolved, then suddenly this new character comes into 100% alignment with your hero, and they no longer have their own motives or motivations or desires. They are simply a puppy dog following the hero wherever the hero goes and doing whatever the hero wants them to do. So it's important, as you create characters, that they have their own motivations. Even when their goals align with the hero's goals or their goals align with the villain's goals, their motives are always going to be different. And charting those motives, tracking those motives, which change over time because none of us are motivated by exactly the same thing today that we were motivated by yesterday or the day before, we change. So recognizing that in each scene, in each moment, as you bring these characters together, they have different motives. And those motives should invariably conflict on some level. Just as if you go to a dinner party with some friends and you begin to have a discussion um, around, say, the, the controversial issues of the day, you will find that there are areas where you agree and areas where you disagree. Even though you're friends, your friendship does not end because there's disagreement or because everything doesn't line up. And even the areas where you agree, where you agree the nuances are going to be different. For example, I frequently get into discussions because of this project with people on the Syrian refugee crisis. And very often, while they may agree absolutely with the goals of the Josephine Project, they don't necessarily agree with me politically about, you know, what I think about the Syrian refugee crisis or what should be done or, or how things should move forward. And that's fine. That's perfectly okay. And where are where our disagreements occur, those areas of conflict are actually great opportunities for me to refine myself, for me to see where maybe my opinions or my, my plans are not as, as altruistic or as good as I think they are, or my information is not as complete as I think it is. And so that opportunity is great to give your characters also. As they come into conflict, as their motives and, and things change and adjust and there's conflict, that conflict is not an opportunity for your hero to always prove how right they are. It's often an opportunity for your hero to discover what they don't know, to learn what their internal flaws are, to learn how to become better. Because what journey speaks more to us and the human condition than the journey of how do we become better? How do we improve ourselves? And the first and best way that we can do that is being open to people who disagree, to 
people whose motives are different than ours and be willing to hear them and understand them and question ourselves. Not because we're always wrong, sometimes we're right and they're wrong, but because the willingness to ask questions allows us to discover which is actually true. Anyway, so writing tip for this week, remember everyone has a motivation and that motivation should almost invariably be in conflict with the other characters in any given scene that you're writing. Always keep that in mind, always be questioning those motives and challenging your heroes and giving them a chance to really question their beliefs and figure out what they stand for. Thanks. Um, as ever, please go to www.josephineproject.com to learn more about the Josephine Project, what we're trying to do. Anyhow, I hope you're having a fantastic week. Uh, we'll talk to you again in two weeks. Thank you very much.